Hi, welcome to the Christian Voice Channel. I'm Stephen Green and the UK general election has just sprung a surprise. Nigel Farage has announced he will stand as a candidate for the Reform UK party in Clacton. He's also taken over the leadership of Reform UK. So let's take a look at Mr Farage. In a press conference yesterday afternoon, he observed being elected would be difficult, but that if something is difficult, it doesn't stop you doing it. He would rather stand and fight than stand aside. I'm reminded of what David's Army General Joab said to his brother Abishai. Be of good courage and let us play the men for our people and for the cities of our God, and the Lord do that which seemeth him good. Nigel Farage is certainly a larger than life character, and he is a human being, so he is flawed and subject to our human condition. Now, is he arrogant or merely self-confident? Brashness and directness are not sins, but any of us who want to succeed need humility before the Almighty. We're going to pray into this, but let's first remind ourselves of the biblical criteria for leadership. Jethro told Moses, Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness. Well, I suggest to you that Nigel Farage may fulfil the third of Jethro's criteria. He's straightforward, he answers questions, he seems to be a man of truth, and that's different from so many of our current politicians. You may regard Kemi Badenoch as a breath of fresh air, but even she could not tell the truth about putting the Port Talbot steel men out of work. Mr Farage appears not to be covetousness or out to enrich his pals, so that would be a contrast with what happened under the Tories with NHS personal protection contracts. Is he an able man, the first criterion? He's certainly very good at politics. He's a gifted orator. He has been, as he says, in this game for 30 years. If elected, he may find himself in his customary prophetic and activist role rather than in national leadership. And that still needs ability from on high. But what about the second one, men such as fear God? Well, earlier this year, he said he had stopped attending church, blaming the Church of England's surrender, as he put it, to the woke agenda. You may be in the same boat. That may even be a God-fearing position. Some 13 years ago, he said, you could be Christian and fun, or you could be Christian and be puritanical and want to control everybody. Of course, Christians don't have fun, we don't enjoy things, we are blessed by them. I've been really blessed by standing up in public for the Lord Jesus over the years. OK, it's fun, especially when you see the Lord move in power. But look closely. When this Nigel talked about puritanical and wanting to control everybody, perhaps he was talking prophetically, not about Christians, but about today's World Economic Forum influenced political and media establishment. They were controlling everyone during COVID and now with net zero. And they are nudging you constantly to think as they want you to over transgenderism, racism, geopolitics and climate change, to take just a few obvious examples. Mr Farage says he is standing up for little people against the elite. And credit where it is due, if he is, and it's hard to discern anyone else doing that, that is a godly position. The psalmist says, Blessed is he that considereth the poor, the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. And from the Proverbs, The righteous considereth the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. Where do Reform UK stand on abortion? on sex education, on the UK promoting evil abroad, I'm not sure we yet know. And where is a wholehearted proclamation of our Christian constitution? When you stand even imperfectly or in part for righteousness against a godless elite, you are fighting a spiritual battle. You cannot do that with one arm tied behind your back. You need the spiritual dimension. You need the Holy Spirit. So let's pray. Almighty God, you reign on high. Scripture says you put down rulers and set them up. You both remove and set up kings. You give wisdom to the wise and to the humble. We pray you do not deal with us after our sins, but instead, Lord, revive your work and in wrath remember mercy. Raise up men after your own heart, my Lord, humble men, who will seek your face for wisdom and proclaim Jesus as King of Kings. Especially lift up and sustain God-fearing Christian candidates. May your kingdom come and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven in our land. For we pray all this from your word, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It will be certainly interesting in the days ahead, so let's keep in touch. Leave your contact details by signing our petition against woke laws below. You'll also find a script for this video on our website with all the scriptures. And what do you think? What is the Lord saying through all this? Feel free to leave a comment. Oh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, like and share the video, especially with those named in this video if you know them.
And don't forget, we rely on the Lord's blessing and your prayers and financial support. Thanks for watching.